After being halted last August, construction work has begun again on the Polly Joseph Stadium project in St. Croix. Crews were out early Monday morning to resume the rebuilding of the Polly Joseph Stadium following last week's approval from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. Of the territory's conditional letter of map revision that caused a stoppage of work last August, 8.2 million from the Internal Revenue Matching Funds has been allocated to support the completion of the long delayed stadium project, which had been undergoing revisions and design changes for years now. As we've reported, construction was forced to stop last December because of concerns about flooding. But as you can see now, the work is well underway. Now, this is an artist drawing of what the proposed stadium will look like. Governor Albert Bryan says FEMA's approval this last week clears the way for the long awaited rebuild of the stadium, which is an integral part of the administration's overhaul of Frederickstead. He called the stadium a cultural and recreational jewel, which will bring in visitors and boost tourism. Now these repairs come as work is also well underway on several road repair projects throughout St. Croix. And the Bryan administration is excited to see these projects and initiatives to revitalize the town of Frederickstead moving forward. As an administration, we are particularly proud to be moving this project along from proposed to underway. In addition, work is underway to resurface and repave the roads in the town of Frederickstead, and we are asking the community for their patience and cooperation. While the crews make their way throughout the town, we ask that motorists remove their vehicles to allow for the paving of the streets. These projects, in addition to scheduled lighting improvements on Prince Street, the rebuilding of the Midre Cummins Park, and improvements to the Ann Abramson Pier are part of Governor Bryan's commitment to rebuilding the town of Frederickstead and improving the quality of life for its residents. Again, we are asking for the residents' cooperation as this work with, uh, will cause some detours and other traffic delays. So $20 million is being spent for road work to improve more than 30 locations throughout the territory, many roads of which have not been repaired for several years and are in severe disrepair. Again, the DPW is asking drivers to be patient and drive carefully through construction zones. Again, it can be frustrated and frustrating and really annoying to be delayed by those construction projects, but the end result will hopefully make it all worth it.